Let's get right to more breaking news that we're following. We have new information on a bus crash that happened on Signal Mountain this morning where one student was injured. The bus driver, Margaret Miles, has been cited for seat belt law and failure to exercise due care. The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says the bus driver was trying to navigate a turn on Rolling Meadows Drive when that driver drove the back wheels of the bus off the roadway, causing it to hit a culvert. The driver fell out of her seat and the bus continued through the yard of a resident living at 4852 Rolling Meadows. Well, today we have team coverage on that accident. Leah Bowling explains just what happened and Cornelia Nicholson reports on previous crashes in the area. Leah Bowling was on the scene this morning shortly after the accident happened and she spoke with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office and a student. She joins us now live. Leah, tell us about what you learned and what they said. Yeah, well, this is the road that the bus was coming down and then it went into this ditch right here and you can actually see a piece of the bus's undercarriage is still here on the side of the road. The driver lost control and then the bus rolled through two yards and ultimately ended up in front of a house where it was stopped by a trailer filled with mulch. All 16 students and the driver are OK and the house only has minor damages. We spoke with the owners of the house where the bus ended up about what they experienced when this happened. Well, I was sleeping at the time and um, heard a big thump, felt a big thump. And so I ran downstairs and uh, she, Valerie had gotten up and uh, we came out here and here's a yellow school bus in my trailer in front of the garage. Elliot McAfee with the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office says the driver was not wearing a seatbelt when she hit the ditch and it caused her to bounce out of her seat and lose control of the bus. He says the driver will be cited with a seatbelt law violation and failure to exercise due care. We also spoke with a student who was waiting for the bus and watched this happen. He says it was terrifying to watch and that he had friends on the bus and is thankful they're okay. Reporting on Signal Mountain, I'm Leah Bowling, Local 3 News. All righty, Leah, thank you so much for that live report. Hamilton County Schools released a statement this morning in regards to the accident. It reads in part, quote, while on its way to school today, bus 152 was involved in a minor accident and drove into a ditch while turning a corner on Rolling Meadows. Emergency services are on the scene and every student is being evaluated. All passengers are safe and at this time, only one child is reporting a minor injury. You can read the full statement online on our website. We continue our team coverage now with Cornelia Nicholson, who spoke with a parent who had a child on that bus. And Cornelia, I'm sure they were a bit shaken up. Tell us about what you heard and what they told you. Yeah, absolutely, Latrice. Kathy Fisher is definitely shaking up from this incident. She said this morning she actually got a call from her son who was on that bus that crashed right behind me. Now, she said when she got that call, she immediately got in her car and drove over to this area. And what she saw was the bus in the yard of this home. Now, Kathy says she stayed with the kids for 30 minutes and ended up taking three of them home. She says it was so scary to receive that phone call from her son saying that he was in a bus crash. Now, Kathy tells me she lives a block away from where the bus crashed and says nothing this major has happened before. Yeah, well, there have been some bus accidents. I think the, the mountain is, is, a, is tough to drive on. There's so many sharp curves and it's so curvy. So I ha there have been accidents where the bus backed into a tree, I think, last year or the year before and things like that, minor things, but nothing, nothing where a bus drives through. It drove through three yards. She says she's grateful that her son and the other kids were uninjured in this crash, but she does tell me since the situation was so scary, she's not letting her son take the bus to school anymore until this incident is fully investigated. Live on Signal Mountain, Cornelia Nicholson, Local 3 News.